blood strands on the pinkish moon shadow. Sapphire emerald, back to sapphire. It's the sweaty intoxication headache that won't go away. All the memories of you and me together. This is now what I needed today. My pocket full of oh, love, got a hole, got a hole. You fell out, fell out, yeah, out. And now I'm too far down the sidewalk to pick you up, to pick you up again. To pick you up So please make rains On the hood of my car Remind me of the days Spent inside The bittersweet taste Of perfume and sweat on your neck And we're no longer you And me Together This is now what I need my pocket full of love got a hole, got a hole. You fill out, fill out, out. And now I'm too far down the sidewalk to pick you up, to pick you up again. To pick you up There was a time I believed That I'd live a fairy tale life Side by side with you Suddenly it was all gone Now it's back to reality Time to move on But still, once in a while I get caught in a thought about you And now once you had said That you would love me Forever you promised It's the empty space Next to me when I'm alone They remind me of you And me Together And my guest now is Terrence Brennan. Terrence, terrific song. Thank you, man. Welcome to the show. Thanks Thank for coming out to Staten Island tonight. No problem. My pleasure. So tell me more about that song. Where'd you get the idea for that tune? Um, uh, Got a hold is about my first big heartbreak. It was, um, uh, you know, the the girl that that I fell in love with and was going to marry after high school and all that stuff. And of course, that went south. So, um, but then it, it actually, um, it's it's also a little bit about moving on from that. It's like once you get a certain distance from that relationship you know you can move on and it's hard to look back even though you may be tempted to sort of try and work things out mm -hmm. but um, but it ain't gonna happen and that's what that's not about now how close to the heartbreak did you write the song uh, it years or months or it was it was a good two years two years I think uh, you know and I, I moved to New York and it was crazy and I was sitting alone in my room and just wrote a song about you know what I was thinking about and that was it Moved to New York from where? Uh, from uh, South Portland, Maine. South Portland, Maine. That's right. I'm from the woods. Excellent. So that, that's where you, uh, how young were you when you started playing guitar? 
Uh, I was actually 19 when I started playing guitar. Or no, 20, sorry, 20. Wow. Yeah, I started off with saxophone. That was my first instrument. And okay. voice, of course, that was, that was the big one. Did you had vocal training as a kid? Uh, not, not really. I had a really good choir director. Uh, but that's about as close as I yeah, ever came. Choir provides pretty good vocal training, I think. Yeah. So, and how old were you when you started saxophone? Um, I was 11. Oh wow! So you started pretty young. Yeah. yeah. Do you still play sax at all? Only when I'm drunk. <laughs> how often are you drunk with a saxophone? <laughs> Not very often. It sort of sits in the corner of my uh, parlor, in okay. my mansion. <laughs> okay. So you wrote this song, to, the, this, the song we just heard, you, you know, mm -hmm. uh, two years after your breakup, but when did you start writing your own song? Um, as soon as I picked up the guitar, pretty much, um, I, uh, I started to, you know, learn, I learned a couple of songs, then I started to try to write my own, mostly as jokes. I mean, my, my, the whole first hundred something songs that I wrote were like just horrific, inappropriate, dirty jokes. And, and then eventually I was like, hey, let's write a, a good song, see what happens. And, uh, and you did? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> so bad relationships are obviously a common theme for songwriters. Uh, True. Where else do you go for inspiration? Um, uh, dreams, um, you know, hopes, anger, whatever makes me angry. I like to write about stuff that pisses me off. Um, like that dog? Yeah, yeah, that dog should shut up. <laughs> um, I, I like to write about... Um, Ridiculous things, uh, zombies, dinosaurs, all of it. Songs about zombies. Yeah, yeah. I've got one or two. No, one. Yeah. Okay. Well, tell me about the next song we're going to hear now. Uh, the next song we're going to hear is My Kind of Girl. My Kind of Girl. Mm hmm About a different girl, I'm hoping, than the first one. Um, yes. Uh, th this is a positive one. This is like an actual I love you song as opposed to you... You broke my heart song. Um, you know, every once in a while you come across a relationship that is really good. It makes you want to write songs and, you know, play with cartoon birds and all that fun junk. <laughs> Excellent. Terrence Brennan with My Kind of Girl. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey everyone, we're back in the studio with Terence Brennan. Now Terence, we talked about uh, where you go for inspiration for your songs. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about the actual process, the actual writing of a song. Do you write the music first? Do you write the lyrics first? Um, it's, it's really strange. Um, when, I, when I sit down to like write a song and I tell myself I'm about to write a song, I just kind of like, I go through my head because uh, I, you know, I, I have one of those minds where like there's something running through my head constantly. There's always like a beat or a bass line or something. Mm -hmm. So I usually just pull whatever has been playing in my head recently out, try to learn it on guitar, and then uh, I'll slap some lyrics on it. The process is weird. Sometimes it, uh, the lyrics come first, um, but usually when it happens, it happens in like five minutes. It's like feverish. I'm like, okay, here comes the song, ah, and there it is. Excellent. Yeah. So it kind of writes itself back here and then comes out when it's ready. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's pretty cool. Yeah, people have definitely witnessed me doing the sort of like, oh, I'll be right back, I gotta go write a song, and then I come back five minutes later and play a song. <laughs> it's happened. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So uh, what are your plans for the future? Do you have uh, any more CDs coming out? Um, well, uh, we just released an album called Disquietude. Um, we had our CD release party at the Bowery Electric. It was pretty awesome. And uh, we're going to tour to support that um, you said pretty we. soon. This is your band. Um, yeah, yeah. I have a band called Belt um, yeah. that I write all the songs for so far. You know, mm -hmm. It's not like I wouldn't let anybody else write a song. It's just it's the way it's worked out so yeah, far. Yeah, it's the way it's worked out so far. So. And the CD's called Disquietude? Yes. Yes. And it's available, like, is it all the regular? Um, you, it's, it's available at shows, of course. But um, also, uh, well, right now it's a, available exclusively through our Reverb Nation site. Uh, so go to ReverbNation.com and uh, search for Belt, and we'll pop up. And uh, you can also, uh, if you check out the website, there's links to all that stuff. Um, BeltMusic.net. Um, we're Belt on Facebook Music. and MySpace. And we have a YouTube channel called... Uh, uh, slash belt band. It's like youtube.com slash belt band. All our wacky videos. Pretty cool. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, well, Terrence, thank you for coming on out here to Staten Island and sitting with us, sharing your music with us. No problem. Uh, tell me about the song we're going to hear to close out the show. Um, this one is called uh, Lions and Whales. Um, it's more uh, broken hearted relationship, not working out stuff. So, you know, one bad one, one good one, one bad one. Just creating a cycle. Um, this is sort of like about how um, uh, at some point, sometimes a, relation, a relationship gets to the point where uh, two people can't like um, gel, you know, and, and like they don't have enough in common and it's really nobody's fault, but um, you know, it's just time to part ways. And it's not like a angry parting ways, it's just a, yeah, what's over, you know? Right, okay. Well, I wanna thank uh, Terrence Brennan for coming on out here to Staten Island. Look for him and his band, Belt. I also want to thank Byron Zanos, who we heard earlier in the show. And we'll see you next time on Raw, that's real, authentic writing in music. Thank you. I can do
Not being able to hold you's getting pretty stale. You say you'd rather beach than live without me be your side. But honestly, you've got a life in the sea, and I gotta leave with my pride. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 and I'm sad it has to end. Meeting you at the beach when the tide comes. in the trees, you got the fish in the seas, you got the fish in the sea, you got the fish in the sea, you got the fish in the sea. <laughs>